Hello everybody and welcome back to this baby class. We're actually going to do a newborn special baby class this week. Now before you click off, this isn't just a class for newborn babies. You can do it if you have an older baby as well, but all the activities in this class are specially selected for those littlest of babes. So if you have a baby, I would say from about six weeks onwards, this class will be suitable for you. It may be that your baby only can manage to do five minutes or 10 minutes of the class. So you may want to split it into four sections or just split it in half. If your baby starts crying, looking away from you, fidgeting, writhing around, you get the message that your baby is not interested at this current time. So just stop the class and you can come back to it at a later point. If you have never done a baby class before, then there are just a few things to bear in mind. You will want to get a nice soft area for your baby to lie on. So either on the carpet or on a nice soft blanket. You might want to think about the fact that there isn't an overhead light directly above their head because it's not very nice for babies, obviously, to look up at the light. We want to make sure that we are having lots and lots of eye contact with our babies so make sure that you're leaning over your baby and looking into their face so that they can get that eye contact with you it's really important for bonding if you have a baby older than around four five months old then your baby may want to sit up during this class to participate that's absolutely fine if they want to sit up if they want to sit on your knee to join in you can do the actions with them that way if you have got a younger baby and they are lying down, there are a few action songs that we're going to do. Now you can either do the actions yourself and let the baby watch your hands, which is really great for them, great for their eye development and tracking, but you can also gently, gently move their arms and legs in time with the songs and the music. I will give more instructions as we get to those points. That's really good for increasing baby's mobility and range of movement. Now I have got a baby myself, but he has just turned one, so he's not going to be in this class with us. Instead, I have got my prop dolly with me here. This is Julie, and she is going to be joining in our session with us today. So without further ado, I am going to shuffle back a little bit. I'll tilt the camera down ever so slightly so you can see me better and we will get started with our welcome song. Okay, now that we are all comfy and in position, hopefully you've got your baby laying down on the floor in front of you, we are going to start the welcome song. Now we sing the welcome song at the beginning of every session. It's really familiar for our babies, or it certainly comes to be, and it lets them know that it's time to start the class. It often elicits big smiles and beams from your baby as they get excited and they know what's coming. So we start off by clapping our hands just above baby and making sure again that you get that nice eye contact with your baby and we sing Welcome to a baby class, a baby class, a baby class Welcome to a baby class, we're here to have some fun We'll reach up high So you can gently stretch your baby's arms up as far as they will go comfortably and reach down low and lower their arms We'll wiggle our fingers. So just gently wiggle your fingers about 30 centimeters above your baby's head, slowly from side to side and watch to see if their eyes can track the movement. And tickle your toes, tickle, tickle, tickle. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun, hey! And this time we're going to do some tapping. So we're going to actually tap on the floor either side of the baby's head, just gently. But the nice thing about tapping on the floor is that they can not only hear the sound, but they will be able to feel the sound by feeling the vibrations through their bodies. So we'll tap like this and we'll sing again. Welcome to our baby class, our baby class, our baby class. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun. We'll reach up high, stretch those arms and reach down low. We'll clap our hands, hooray! Or you can clap your baby's hands, hooray! And boop your nose, boop, boop, boop. Welcome to our baby class, we're here to have some fun, hooray! 
well done babies and parents for singing the welcome song. Throughout the class there are going to be a few songs and if you come back in subsequent weeks or do some of the 30 some classes that there already are you will see some songs repeated throughout. That's really nice because it builds that familiarity for babies, they learn to recognise the songs to be able to join in with them and know the words or the actions and then we tend to try and introduce new songs every few weeks just so that there's something new and different for the baby. So the next song that we're going to do is a peekaboo song. So I've got a sensory scarf here. Now you don't have to have a sensory scarf like this. You could have a muslin if you have one or just a piece of fabric. If you want to buy sensory scarves like this, you can get them really inexpensively from places like Amazon. I will leave a link below to my Amazon storefront where I have recommended lots and lots of sensory products that I use and love. So you can visit that if you want more information, but we're going to use this sensory scarf and we're going to do a little bit of peekaboo. So we're going to put it gently over our baby's heads. Now if you have a muslin you may not want to obviously cover their face up so just gently hold it just slightly above them like this. That's the nice thing about these sensory scarves because they can see through them. So we're going to put it gently above our baby's heads and then we're going to pull it away. Peekaboo! There you are, I see you. We'll do it again. Where's the baby gone? Peekaboo! There you are! And obviously you can use your baby's name as well. Let's do it again. Where have you gone? Peekaboo! I see you! Peekaboo is such a fun game to play with your baby because it really encourages that bonding and eye contact. So make sure that you're leaning over them so that they can see your face. And we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to add a little bit of a song in. So I will sing while you do your peekaboo. We're going to sing, Where is baby? Peekaboo! 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 I see you. Yes, I do! Now you may not be the singing type or enjoy singing and that's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to, but just know nobody can hear you. And actually singing's great for our babies because the way that our voice changes, the way that the pitch and the cadence of our voice changes as we sing actually helps our baby's ears to tune into what we're saying. So for young babies especially, singing is better than talking in terms of them learning communication and language skills. So we're going to do peekaboo again now, but this time we're going to put the peekaboo over the scarf rather, over our own heads and we're going to do peekaboo again and then we'll sing the same song. So let's put the scarf over our heads and we'll look over at baby and say, where have I gone? Where's mummy gone or where's daddy gone? Where are you? <gasps> peekaboo, here I am. Let's do it again. Where have I gone? <gasps> peekaboo, here I am, hello. Let's do it one more time. Ready, where have I gone? <gasps> Peekaboo, hi, hello. Let's do it again, but this time we're going to do it with singing. So I'm going to sing Where Is Mummy, but you can sing Where Is Daddy if you're Daddy. Where is Mummy? Peekaboo, where is Mummy? Peekaboo, where is Mummy? Peekaboo, where is Mummy? Peekaboo, where is Mummy? Peekaboo. I see you. This time we're going to use our scarves to do a little bit of tickling for babies. So if you just want to bunch up your scarf or your muslin, and then we're going to use it just to gently make circles on the baby's head there. This is a really great sensory experience for them as we tickle round and round, just really gently as light as a feather on their heads. <gasps> we're going to tickle your head. And then we're going to do tickling on their hands. Can you feel that on your hand? What does that feel like? Is it soft and tickly? And we'll swap over and do the other hand. Oh, so tickly. And then we're going to do round and round on their tummies. And then if they don't have socks on or if you can access their feet, then we'll do some tickling on their toes. Tickle, tickle. And this one, tickle, tickle. Should we do it again? Tickle, tickle on your head. Tickle, tickle. And tickle on your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Boop on your nose. Boop, boop. Let's do it again. 
Tickle, tickle on your head. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And tickle on your toes. Tickle, 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 boop on your nose. Boop, boop. So if you put your scarf to one side now, we are going to do round and round the garden. I'm sure lots of you are familiar with this from when you were a child. We've got two different versions today. So we're going to do it on a baby's tummies and we'll go round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step and tickle you under there. Tickle, tickle. And let's do it again. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step and tickle you under there. Tickle, tickle. And this time we're going to do it on baby's hands and we're going to do round and round the basement. Now when, when your baby is newborn, their hands are scrunched up really tightly. So you may want to do it on the backs of their hands. If their hands are a little bit more open, then you can do it on the palms of their hands and it probably will actually encourage those fingers and hands to just open a little bit as they feel that tickly sensation. So it's up to you which side you choose. And we're going to do round and round the basement like a little mouse. Up, up, up she creeps right inside the house. Tickle, tickle. And then we'll swap over to the other one round and round the basement like a little mouse up 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 she creeps right inside the house okay we are going to do a little finger round now and then we're going to lift our babies up because they have been laying on their backs for a little while so we're going to do tony edward nose and this is a really great bonding quick finger round that you can do at any time bath time bedtime just when you're changing their nappies and we do it like this. Toe, knee, Edward, nose. Touch the nose, so touch toe, knee, nose. Toe, knee, Edward, nose. I love you. You can give your babies a little cuddle. Toe, knee, nose. Toe, knee, nose. Toe, knee, Edward, nose. I love you. And that's what Tony knows. We're going to do it again. So pick up your babies and hold them close to you. And this time we're going to do it while we're holding them. So if you've got a very, very small newborn, you may want to keep holding them like this and you can just touch their toes, their knees and their nose as you do it. If your baby is slightly bigger, then you can sit them down on your knee with some support with your arm there to support their head while you do it. Or of course, if they're bigger still, then they can sit out like this. So let's do Tony Edward knows I love you. Tony knows, Tony knows, Tony Edward knows I love you. And that's what Tony knows. We're going to do a little bit of row, row, row your boat now. And we're going to do the tummy time version. So don't worry if your baby hates tummy time because they'll probably like this one. And if you have never tried tummy time before with your baby, then now is the perfect time to try. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit like this with our legs bent and we're actually going to place our babies on our shins here. Now, if you have a sore back, you may want to sit up against the sofa or something that is soft. You can also do this sitting up in bed if you're sitting, leaning on your headboard with your knees bent like this. And we're going to pop babies onto our shins and I'll just put Julie there so you can see. And the bigger they are, the further forwards they can be because then they're using their arms and their neck to support their head. But if they're very little, they can just be down like this. Now, the reason that babies like this position for tummy time is that they still have that contact with you. They can feel you right there. You can have your hand resting on their back. You can give them a little rub. This is a really great position for windy or colicky babies as well. And we're going to just rock them gently from side to side while we sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, 
crocodile. Don't forget to scream. Ah! And this time we're going to do a little bit of bouncing. So just hold your baby securely and just ever so slightly bounce them like this. This is also great for getting those burps out. Bounce, bounce, bounce your boat merrily along. Hold on tight, don't fall off, bouncing all day long. And then we'll go back to just some gentle rocking for the last bit. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently to and fro. This way, that way, over the side you go. And ready to lift your babies? Splash! And you can lift them up and give them a nice cuddle. Now for this next bit you're going to need your shaker so you can have a bell, a cage bell like this, you can have um, a baby maraca. I've got some lying around here somewhere. <laughs> I think Rupert's taken them all away. And if you don't have any of these ready-made shakers you can just make one yourself by putting some rice, pasta, beads, anything that rattles into an empty water bottle or an empty spice jar and that makes a great rattle for babies. So we're going to do what we call shake and stop. We sing this song at every class because it's one of those ones that babies learn to love and it's really great for teaching them about the word stop and it's really great for teaching their ears to tune into when sounds start and stop as well. So hold your babies close, you can have them like this if you like, you can lay them back down on the floor if you prefer, or you can keep them up on your knees if they're enjoying that position, and we're going to sing, shake, 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 stop, where's that sound gone, has it disappeared, and we stop for quite a long time just to let babies realise that sound has stopped. And then we'll do it again. Shake, 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 stop. Stopped again. Shall we have another turn? Shake, 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 stop. Where's that sound gone? And we'll do it one more time. Shake, 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 stop. Well done baby. So if you haven't got your baby laying down on the floor then place them back down on the floor and we're going to do another shaking song now and we're going to actually shake the shaker from one side of the baby's head to the other so their ears get a chance to tune into the sound moving and maybe they might move their eyes to watch the shaker move or even turn their head to watch the shaker move. If they're a little bit bigger they might even reach up to try and grab it or touch it and we're going to shake this side first of all and then we'll go over to this side and then back over again and then we're going to go up, 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 up and down, 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 down and then we'll do it again up, 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 up and down, 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 down. And then we'll shake side to side, side to side, this way, that way, side to side, side to side, watch it go. Hooray! Okay, we are going to do this little piggy now. So if your baby's toes are exposed, then that's great. And if they are not, then take off their socks or just pull their feet out of their little onesies. In fact, I should probably do it to, <laughs> to be realistic with Julie as well. So we're going to do this little piggy by squeezing just gently and rolling between our fingers each of their toes. This is really great for baby reflexology as well. So we're going to do this little piggy went to market and this little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Tickle tickle. And let's swap over and do the other foot. So we'll start on the big toe again. This little piggy went to market and this little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. 
and this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Okay, leave your babies where they are. We are going to do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and we're going to use twinkly fingers like we did way back in the welcome song at the beginning of the class and we're just going to twinkle them gently over babies as we sing. Don't move them too quickly because babies won't be able to track the movement. So just nice and slow and watch your baby to see if they can watch your fingers move. And we'll sing twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, we are going to sing You Are My Sunshine now. We do this at the end of all of our baby classes. Again, it's one of those familiar songs that babies really grow to love and actually parents grow to love as well. I get lots of messages from parents saying this has become their favourite song to sing with their babies and it certainly was my baby's favourite song. So much so that if I sang it when he was cranky, he would immediately calm down. So we're going to lift up our babies and I want you to hold them really closely to you because this song is all about bonding, you can give their bottoms a little pat just to calm them as well. Baby spine is really calming because it imitates the heartbeat feeling when they're in your womb. And we're going to sing. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. And again, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. Okay, it's time to sing the goodbye song now. So you can either lay babies back down on the floor if that's how they are most comfortable, or you can just hold your baby like this and you can watch them while we sing. Goodbye babies, goodbye mummies, goodbye daddies, we're glad you came to play. Goodbye babies, goodbye mummies, goodbye daddies, we'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for joining in with today's baby class everyone. Now if you do have a young baby and you're just starting this class for the first time then as I mentioned I have a playlist of lots and lots of baby classes for you to get stuck into. They are all completely free and available on here on my channel on YouTube. I will put the link to the playlist down below and I'm sure one will pop up on the screen in a second for you here. You can join in with any of them, they're not age specific. I always talk about how to differentiate the activities or the songs if you have a younger baby. If one class a week from you simply isn't enough then I do actually do extra baby classes as well including baby signing classes, baby yoga classes and more over on my Patreon account so I will put the link down below there as well if you are interested in becoming a member and joining our family. Thank you so much for watching this class everybody and hopefully we will see you all next time. Bye bye.